The desire to leave the land better than they found it is a common trait among cattle producers. And you can certainly see that in action with the regional winners of the Environmental Stewardship Award. Let's head to Region 5 for a look at the winning operation in Montana. Stewardship to me is plugging into the environment in a seamless way, working with Mother Nature to leave the land better than we started. I'm David Mannix with Mannix Brothers Ranch in Helmville, Montana. Well, we've been here a long time, right? Our family's been ranching on this landscape for over 140 years. My brothers and I are fourth generation, and then we have the fifth generation working on the ranch now, and some grandkids coming up will be six when they get active. We've been fortunate with a number of the next generation wanting to come back. I think that's probably tied to the fact that they get some say in, in what goes on on a not only a daily basis, but an annual and a far-reaching basis. Every Tuesday morning, we get together for the weekly meeting, and we talk about bigger pictures type stuff, or how can we make things better, because every day we are working to leave the land better than we found it. We started a direct-to-consumer beef program in 2008, and we feel that selling direct gives us a chance to connect with customers a little bit. We've always tried to be very open with what we do and why we do it. I think it's to our advantage, but also to the ranching industry's advantage to tell our story and promote what we're doing and share it. It kind of stretches our comfort zone at times, but it's also valuable, necessary step that we should take. If there's one word that defines our sustainability goals, it would be to coexist. One way we coexist with nature is by improving our soil health, and we have found that rotational grazing has had a positive impact on the health of our land. We're, like everybody else, trying to do a better and better job of taking care of soil health, forage health, and a big part of that is allowing enough rest. We want to bring in the cows for a short time and then get off that grass and let it recover to allow root development, a healthier, more resilient forage, and hopefully more production. To make this intensive grazing work, it does take a lot of infrastructure. We probably have close to 100 different water tanks on pipelines, and those are sources of water where the cattle can concentrate that are away from the creeks to not impact the water and keep water quality high. We're not just passionate about what's best for us, but what's best for the whole system. It's trying to do right by the land. I think that Grandpa and Great Grandpa both strongly felt that the goal was always to leave it better than you found it. That was passed on to my dad, my uncles, and to us. Of that heritage and that commitment and that blood and sweat that went into managing and caring for the land, we don't take it lightly. It is very ingrained in us to do the responsible thing and care for the land. It's really cool to see my nephews and my children engage and get it and actually fairly quickly surpass my own level of knowledge. So that's rewarding knowing that, you know, as we pass it on, that it will be taken care of and I suspect it will be better than it is today. That would be pretty cool. Now, if you'd like to find out more about the Environmental Stewardship Award winners, see photos and videos, or even learn how to nominate someone for the award next year, visit the website environmentalstewardship.org.